welcome back to another cook with queen tv cooking episode so today you are in for a treat and i mean a literal treat with the holidays approaching all the eggnog and gingerbread things i figured we could make some gingerbread eggnog protein muffins and they are i say i feel like i say this all the time but like legit for real these are so phenomenal. They make great snacks. They make great breakfast. You're going to love them is all I have to say. So stay tuned. The ingredients you'll need are a gingerbread cake mix, pumpkin puree, protein powder of your choice, Greek yogurt flavor of choice, a very ripe banana, some spices, vanilla extract, Oat nog, this is optional. Also optional, these sea salt caramel baking chips and pumpkin seeds. First, you wanna start off with preheating your oven to 350 degrees, and then we'll coat our muffin pan with some nonstick spray as well, and then set aside. In our large mixing bowl, start with wet ingredients. First, I am going to hand mash the banana, and make sure that your banana is quite Right, so honestly, the less cute, the better. It'll help texture-wise, and then also it will add some additional sweetness. And you'll want to mash it down pretty good into almost like a paste. And it's okay if you don't get all of the lumps out, but to the best of your ability, just make sure they're really small. Realizing this in the moment, you could totally work smarter and not harder, unless you just want a little workout, but you could use an electric mixer here, but it's honestly not necessary. We are getting the consistency that we need here. Again, there are still clumps, but it's more of a mash paste. So that was one whole banana and then I'm going to start with half of the can of pumpkin. I'm using the pumpkin mostly for maintaining the moisture of the muffin. If you would like more pumpkin flavor then I would suggest subbing the eggnog Greek yogurt for pumpkin if you're not an eggnog fan. <laughs> to add our spices. We have cinnamon. And wow, I'm not measuring any of this, but that's probably about mm, a half a teaspoon. A quarter of a teaspoon of salt. A bit light with the ginger, obviously because the, the gingerbread cake mix has ginger in it. So a quarter of a teaspoon of that, then probably about a quarter to half of a teaspoon of the nutmeg so that it'll help pair with the eggnog. And then I'm also going to add in some vanilla extract and I'm just gonna do a capful, which is roughly about half a teaspoon while adding in the whole container of the eggnog yogurt. Now, again, this one is a Trader Joe's speciality. So if you don't have eggnog Greek yogurt, you could use just like a regular vanilla Greek yogurt or a non-fat plain, or if you wanna have a creative adventure of your own and sub out for another flavor, you can do that. This is right about five ounces. Oh, snap. So five to six ounces of a flavored yogurt of your choice. Have fun here. And I want all of it. Again, this helps to keep the muffins super moist, especially because we're going to be adding protein powder. We mixed roughly here. All of the wet ingredients have been incorporated at this point. I do have some oat nog on standby just in case as we add the dry ingredients, we need a little bit more to thin out, but we may not even need this at all, but just keep it close. Now let's mix in the dry ingredients gradually. I'll do about a scoop and a half 
of the protein powder. Okay, this is just what I have on hand is PE Science white chocolate macadamia cookie protein, but just like a plain vanilla style protein powder would work fine. And then I have the gingerbread cake mix here and I'm probably gonna do about half of it. Mix it all together. It smells so good. Okay, so here's what we're looking like. And it's still quite runny, so we need to add a little bit more of the mix, and I'm just gonna finish that off. And again, just fold in together nicely until you get most of those clumps out again. It's okay that you see some. Y'all, I did, <laughs> I did full body yesterday and more upper body stuff. This is tearing my shoulders up, like in the best way. It burns. <laughs> oh. Okay, this looks perfect, actually. All right, that's about the thickness you want. So it kind of drops off of the spatula versus dripping off. I don't think we're going to need her at all. So again, if you want more eggnog flavor, then maybe pull back on the pumpkin and then add maybe a quarter of a cup of this here. Now, you guys know I love to just like take it up a notch. So I actually have some sea salt caramel chips on hand. I'm gonna do probably like a quarter of a cup. And then we're gonna top. We're going to top the muffins once we put them in the pan with these pumpkin seeds. We've got the sea salt caramel chips all mixed in and then our muffin pan has been doused in nonstick spray just to make sure that the muffins do not stick. Also, if you have muffin tin liners, you're more than welcome to use those there for easy cleanup and cuteness. Just a trick of the trade but what helps to keep whatever you're gonna use to put the muffin into the pan is to spray it with spray or rub it down with some olive oil so it just like falls off. What? I'm okay with the dollop if by chance you want it to be like super duper uniform and pretty and precise, feel free to use an ice cream scoop or even a measuring cup. I'm actually gonna grab another spoon so I can get more off. So now I'm just filling the, the pockets to make sure they're all roughly about the same size. Be mindful that these will grow in the oven so you don't want them to like be totally maxed out. Add more mix to the muffins where you can see the bottom of the muffin tin. We're going to bake the muffins at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. You can always do the fork or toothpick test to make sure that it comes out clean and it's cooked all the way through. But before we do that, <laughs> We gotta add the pumpkin seeds, fam. Like what? oven they pass the fork test so I'm going to actually transfer them over to a cooling rack just so it doesn't continue to cook again we want to make sure that these puppies are moist oh, I am so excited I have not made these since last holiday season so I hope they're as good as I remember <laughs> look so good though like 
and voila we'll taste in just a second we need them to cool down a little bit more. um we have a taste tester oh my gosh i'm so so excited i did not tell her what i made so we're gonna taste it together you guys know but it'll be a surprise to jess all right i'm so excited so we're gonna split and cheers yeah let's cheers oh they're warm oh! okay it's giving fall it's into night. <laughs> Cheers. Snap. Mm. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. What is it? Mm. Gingerbread, eggnog, protein muffin. There's protein powder in here. What the heck? Okay, I've never would have. I never would have thought that. It's not giving protein at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. Y'all, I swear I didn't make her say that. <laughs> it's the whole thing. <laughs> Do you want <laughs> Oh my god. This is so good. Mm. Dang, girl. Yeah. We did it. Mm-hmm. Wow, God bless. <laughs> oh, we didn't pray for it. Lord, what's this? You got the body of Christ broken for us. And praise God from whom all blessings flow. <laughs> guys well i hope you enjoyed whatever that was that just happened which is 90 percent of what we do together but please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share i haven't said that one yet yeah. share this video this one is phenomenal and um, as always please do not forget that you can live healthily and eat happily have the best rest of your day yeah that's so good <laughs> except <laughs>